All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Mindful Monday. I'm Dion here with Jen and would like to present a little bit of spine movement in connection with your hips. So if you're interested in coming to a little bit of that connection, some rotation, some movement, and of course, breath with movement to kind of make that, that connection with your body and experience the present moment with your uh, spine and hips. So you're welcome to take one leg, uh, you know, sit down anywhere. Um, you don't have to have a mat. It could be pretty much anywhere. And what if you um, approach something like a Z sit? Sometimes this is called a Z sit. Sometimes it's called deer. But I have one leg in front and one leg bent off to the side. And you might notice right from the beginning that, you know, sometimes we tilt a little bit. We have mm -hmm. so right there, I kind of like to move a little bit. So you can place your hand on that same hip of the leg that's off to the side and begin a little bit of rotation. So drop that hip down and then maybe lift that hip and look over the opposite shoulder. So we're just kind of beginning a little bit of rotation, starting with the base of your spine, tailbone, sacrum. And I've got my other hand over here as a prop. I see you do too. So it, it kind of helps to have something to lean into. And then maybe bring your thoughts from the bottom of your spine spiraling up to right between your earlobes, the top of your spine, right where it meets your head, your neck. All right, so maybe an inhale on one half, an exhale as you drop your hip down. You can even look over the other shoulder if you wanna complete that spiral. How about one or two more here? So good for somebody that's really tight like me. me I, you can, I can probably notice that, yeah, <laughs> Every day. This is a little more flexible than this I am. This is something that I, I approach every day. And then another opportunity could be a lateral stretch through your spine. So keeping the foundation the same, maybe lean out with one arm and stretch up and over with the other. As long as that feels okay in your shoulder. And you'll have maybe more access to one side than the other. So you can plant the other hand. See if it's possible maybe to reach up with that arm. And yes, so that's going to be maybe less access, less lateral range there. So you're welcome to take it side to side if you'd like. Maybe an inhale as you find that length. Exhale as you pass through center. Inhale. Yeah, and if you find that reaching up with your arm doesn't feel great in your shoulder or you feel some kind of limitation, it's okay to maybe just bring your fingertip to your shoulder and reach up with your elbow. That's one possibility. Or even behind your neck and stretch up that way. All right, so once you've, you've done enough of these, you feel like you've uh, kind of accessed your lateral stretch, we have another possibility here, and that could be to rotate, look at your front leg, rotate towards your front leg here and maybe plant both hands on the ground, the floor, or a pillow or something if you'd like a little higher higher um, uh, point of contact there. And then I was thinking maybe, well, we already have this rotation, maybe some spine extension and flexion in this shape. So one way to do that could be to lift with your chin, maybe broaden through your shoulders and your collarbone, and then draw your chin toward your chest and round your spine. Maybe look down somewhere at your navel or your hip here. And then you're welcome to do that. Alternate an inhale as you extend your spine perhaps and an exhale as you find, find flexion. I like to do this a few times and just uh, I, in repetition, Notice the articulation of your spine from top to bottom. And maybe one or two more here. And perhaps last one for this side. <laughs> and then eventually you can come up to neutral. This leg that was out to the side, we can come into the outer hips a little bit more by turning it around to the front. So here's some options. You can bring it in front of your other leg or on top of, this is gonna be a little bit higher sensation, a little bit more, a um, little bit maybe a deeper stretch. So you can choose here or up here. Sometimes when I start up here, I have a lot of space. Like I'm, but as I'm breathing and kind of, I'll give myself some support for my spine and just stay lifted. Yeah, so the leg that we had out to the side is either gonna be in front or on top of, yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. 
just to keep our Again, sides that even. flexibility thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there or here, and then um, you can lift your spine and maybe see if you have access to tilt forward a little bit of your spine. You can plant your hands in front for support. Yeah, so that's a great option. This is another option. Uh, what we're doing is getting the outer hip piriformis area. Yeah. Feels so yeah. Good. All right. And then after a few breaths, we can switch sides. So the leg that you had on top or the one that was out behind is now going to be in front. Yeah, we're just switching sides. All right. So, and I'm on purpose not saying left or right. We were talking about this before. Um, that sometimes we kind of fall into a habit of starting on one side. So you might, you know, choose to start with your left side first, if you're right dominant, and just see how that feels in your body. All right, so what about that rotation from the tailbone all the way up? And, and I like to place my hand here because it's a little reminder as I'm rotating into it, I'm kind of dropping it down and giving a little guidance. Yeah. Yeah, you could place your hand anywhere on your leg. Um, that's not a priority. It's just more of like where be mindful about where you place your hand. Let that be a choice. All right. So side to side in rotation, spiraling up from your tailbone through your mid back, up through your neck, and back down. Maybe connecting a breath. If you do an inhale on one half, exhale on the other, or you could take a full cycle of breath on each side. From there, if you're interested in that lateral stretch, you can place one hand down, the other arm over, and think about lengthening from your knee through your hip, shoulder, all the way up to your fingertips, and then maybe take it to the other side. So I, I'm someone who likes rhythmic movement. It helps me feel connected to my body. But if you're someone who would rather just hold and breathe and find that static stretch, that is a great choice you can make for yourself. How about one more each side? And then from here, you're welcome to take both hands all the way around the, think the leg that's in front, rotating towards and into that leg, finding spine extension by lifting your chin, your eyes broaden through your chest, and then draw your chin down, round your spine. I like to push into the ground here as I kick my tailbone under a little bit. Now you're moving between those two shapes or you're holding and breathing. So interesting because we have the spine rotation and flexion extension. Our spines are so interesting, all the mobility that is possible. And at some point coming to neutral, your leg that's around back, swing it around to the front, coming into the hip on the other side now. So either front or on top of. And if you're doing the on top of thing, um, I like to point out flexing your ankle so that you're not um, kind of torquing or moving your ankle in a way that's kind of stretching the ligaments there on the outer edge of the, the ankle. So either in front or on top of. Find a lift of your spine and then see if there's access to approach a forward, forward tilt of your torso. Sometimes I like to start here because it's a little bit less sensation, less dynamic in the, um, in the sensation for the outer hip. But if you start to feel that your hip is opening, you can maybe see about bringing your leg on top, just breathe and pause and see if this lifted knee has some access to drop down into as your hip opens up. That's not working for you. Take it back to the other, the other place. So you can pause there, take as long as you'd like, do the other side again, see if there's been any um, more access to deepen any of those stretches. Um, yeah, I do this every day. It's a good one. That's a great way to start or end your day. For sure. For I sure. If you're it. standing or it. sitting a lot, for sure. All right. We'll see you next week, next Monday. Bye, Bye guys. Audience.